This is Leadership Plus. I'm Dave Edwards. I talked to someone recently who said the idea of working from home has not been all that it's cracked up to be. Uh, he was describing all of the uh, Zoom meetings that he was on now and uh, all of the check-in meetings that he was suddenly invited to. He was now on Slack channels and people were reaching out to him at all different hours of the day and night. So yeah, the idea of technology, while it can be very helpful in our daily jobs, can also prove to be a distraction. Of course, I'm old enough to remember a time before email. It does seem like a long time ago because now we rely on email and other sources of electronic media to get our jobs done every day. They can be extremely helpful. I remember telling a former boss when he first showed me uh, email, I remember telling him, why would you ever need that? I can't imagine ever needing email. So we have to learn how to manage technology so that it is a true help to us and doesn't distract us from the things that we have to do every day. Once I got a handle on email and learned how to process it and use it effectively, then all of a sudden I had colleagues sending me text messages or messages on Slack, and they were much more difficult to move around, much more difficult for me to store and follow up on. Now, I'm no Luddite, but I quickly learned that I don't need more inputs coming at me. They just become a greater distraction. So I've tried to eliminate them whenever possible. As software programmer Alicia Liu wrote on a Medium post, applied to Slack, its greatest strength, amazing ease of use, is also its weakness, making it far too easy for everyone to default to using Slack for communicating, even for all the myriad of things that don't make sense to use Slack to communicate. So how did I get control of all of these inputs? Well, first of all, let's start with email. I triage my email three times a day, first thing in the morning, somewhere around the middle part of the day, and again at the end of the day. I look for those items that are urgent, things that I must respond to right away. I look for things that I need to deal with, but I don't need to deal with them right away. They will go on to my to-do list. I also weed out the messages where I'm just simply CC'd on or even blind copied on. Uh, sometimes I'll save them, sometimes I'll trash them because I usually find out they're not really that important to me. I've also learned how to delegate better. In going through my emails, I realize sometimes people send me things and they really don't need a response from me. They probably need a response from somebody else and for whatever reason, I got put on that email list. So I'll forward it to the right person who can respond? Oh, and if you text me, I'm probably not going to respond right away. I don't respond to things that just buzz and distract me from what I'm working on. Uh, the, uh, the immediate people that I work with, my administrative assistant, uh, my family, they know my private cell phone number and they know to call me if there's an emergency or something that I need to deal with right away. As I said, all of these inputs have their place. They can be beneficial but you sort of have to put rules around them in order to make them truly effective and helpful to you. It takes a lot of self-discipline, but at the end of the day, you will be more productive if you are able to manage all of the inputs coming at you. That's today's Leadership Plus. I'm Dave Edwards. Hey, like this video if you've enjoyed the message. Subscribe or put a comment down below. I'd really appreciate it. And if you're interested in more articles on management, leadership, and productivity, check out my website at daveedwardsmedia.com.